Hello. I'm going to give an example of using Ask, Offer, Ask, which is an acronym used in motivational interviewing for information exchange, in a conversation I had with my teenage daughter when she pierced her belly button with a safety pin. Fun times. So when this event happened, I first and foremost practiced kind of pulling back my poker face and trying to remember, I want to make this about her and her experience and not about me and my inner experience. So I first asked her some questions like, tell me what led to this. What concerns do you have about it? What do you know about infection? And I listened non-judgmentally. I was practicing some of the spirit of motivational interviewing, compassion and acceptance in this moment, although on the inside, a lot was going on. Then I offered her some information. I shared a little bit about metals and infection, and together we looked online at some of the things that can happen with an infection in the skin and some of the not so fun outcomes of that. That's the offer part of the acronym. And then the third part of that ask, offer, ask is asking again. So then it's a chance for us to check with people about their integration of that knowledge or thoughts and opinions of that knowledge. It really supports autonomy and choice and helps people think really critically about it without trying to shove information in them, which often creates that resistance and reactance, but a chance to say like, what do you think of this information that I just shared? And in that case, she said, you know, I'm, I'm worried about infection. I'm going to take it out if I see any signs of it. And that was ultimately what ended up happening a couple of days later. So just a chance to give you an example of that ask, offer, ask used in a rather challenging conversation. <laughs>